Another day, another stripe, same dog on my lap. Emma. Hey, kitty. She is just become more and more velcro y in her old age um, and just loves being <laughs> right next to you. So, but stripes done. Yay. Okay, so real quick, um, why sock knitting is amazing and things I love about sock knitting. Or rather, like things I love about Advent sock knitting. So I'm doing three pairs of socks at the same time, right? Doing the wool and sanash, um, the cozy knitter, and freckled and whims freckled whimsy. Um, for like the the main like day one, day two, day three, I'm doing one stripe. I'm being very good. I'm only doing one. Um, however, for the second sock, since I am knitting both socks of all three pairs, like at the same time, that one, all bets are off. I am knitting as much as I want because the idea of having to put in six heels, um, all at the same time sounds atrocious. <laughs> so the like number order one is going great. The other sock is going even better because I'm like into day eight, nine on each sock. So if I had like focused and just done one, I would probably have like one whole sock done, but I don't want to do that. Anyways, um, real quick about the yarn for each of those. So it's all fingering weight. They're all wool nylon blends. However, they're all so different and I can feel the difference in my hands. So the Freckled Whimsy is 7510 Superwash Merino Nylon. The Cozy Knitter is 8020, so 80% 80 uh, Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon. The, no, the Woolens and Nosh is 9010 Targi Nylon. So Targi is just another breed of sheep. Um, and between all three of those, I can tell the difference in my hand, um, the different yarns. So you wouldn't expect a ton of difference in the two merinos. So in Freckled Whimsy and um, the Cozy Knitter, the only difference is the percentages of nylon to wool. And you would think like 10% isn't that big of a difference, right? No, 5%. 5% because one is 80 20, the other one's 70. Yeah, 75 25, something like that. You wouldn't think there'd be much of a difference, but I can tell that there is a difference. One feels a little fluffier than the other one. Uh, and then woolens and nosh, it's that's a high wool content, even for sock yarn, that's pretty high to have like a 90 10. And you, even with the different type of sheep, you can feel the difference in the yarn. Um, it feels more airy is, is the best way I can describe it. Like there's just more air in it. So in the skein, it looks very plump and very fluffy, but when you're knitting with it, when you kind of compact it a bit and squish all that air out, it's actually pretty sturdy. So it wool is an amazing thing. <laughs> Hand knit socks are an amazing thing, and Advent knitting is an amazing thing. So, not really one who says like look at what I'm eating look what I'm drinking um unless it's like something fancy or I'm with my sister and then you know the gram eats first and we post what we're eating uh anyways tonight for dinner I'm making borscht which I've only had it once um we had borscht at a friend's house for our book club um it's turned into like foodie book club because we read a book and then we have dinner with food like based on that book so the last book was Anna Karenina um, which is a Russian book and borscht is um, I think this is a Ukrainian recipe the one that I'm doing but is that like Eastern European um, kind of food so I've only had it once 
I really liked it. Uh, I'm not one to eat vegetables willingly, but this one was really good. Um, so yes, that's what we're making for dinner. Um, the dog is already grumbling because she wants to eat too, but it is way too early. And the kids are running amok in my house. So anyways, I will keep you updated on the borscht. Does anyone else need to pay a dog tax? Because I have to pay a dog tax every time I cook. There you go. Crunch, crunch, crunch. All right, so here is the borscht. It's um, a beet stew, so it's very red, um, but it's got beef stock, and I'm sure you could use a vegetarian stock if you need to. It's got potatoes and carrots and beets and onions and dill. It's really good. So soup was a hit with the adults, but not so much with the kids. Um, they didn't really care for it which is fine. Um, this will probably have to eat it at least a little bit, um, but it, it was really good and nice and warm, so that was nice. As far as the rest of the day, we kind of just did the everyday things. It's Monday, so kids had school, I had work. Um, we raked and swept up a ton of leaves. Tomorrow's trash day, so that had to get done and then made borscht, so. That was the wrap up for the day. I'm going to edit this video and then um, work a little bit on my December sock. Uh, I'm hoping to get that first sock done this week. The deadline isn't due until December 24th. Um, and it, I only need one sock done, so it's not a ton of work. I'm on the foot, so it's not going to take me long. Um, but I would like to get that sock done as quickly as possible. And that way I can focus on Advent stuff and then just kind of keep going. So there we go. Hope you had a happy Monday. If you're watching this on not on Monday, hope your week is going well. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.